Hey Plastic Model Builders, it's me Ari Stone and this is the Ravel 148th P61 Black Widow. This is part two. If you didn't see part one, go back and watch it. Uh, we are putting on all the side panels right here into the main fuselage, so get that done. Remember, we do a live chat every time we do this. So if you want to donate, you're more than welcome to do that too. That's how I can build these models. This is the other side panel that's going on in this fuselage. So let's get to building this plane. Some more model making madness. We're going to make it look pretty like this. Got my little pin vise. This was tricky. I put little holes into the guns, the cannons, whatever you want to call them. There it is. I used two sizes, one to get it in and one to make the hole larger. So here we're putting these cannons in. Uh, they go in a little bit funny. They have to meet up with the weapons and the armament, the bullets, I should say, that are inside. And that's the tricky part. Uh, however you do it, get it done. Got that little peg that goes in right there. And these are pretty much how you do this. Put the flight deck in. And once you put the flight deck in, we're going to do some fun stuff. So we got the fuselage right here. You will need to file the pins down on this and make the mold release circles flat. Um, check for any raised spots, shine the light through there. And that's how you're going to get this stuff to made up. I've heard things about this model, but that's the best way to do it. Uh, assemble the front landing gear right here. You stick that in and then you got this little pin. I guess you want to call it clamp. Holds everything in place. And we're going to put this into the model. That's fairly simple right there. You also have a strut that goes right up here on the front. Uh, and you need to put this into the model first before you fasten it together. So this right here will need to be filed down up to that silver piece that you see. That way you can fit in the radar stuff later on. Otherwise, it's just not quite going to fit. So you see how you got to put this in now. Otherwise, you're never getting this in if you already put the fuselage halves together. So their directions are wrong. Do it this way. Helpful tip. That's why you watch these videos. So here's the radar. You see how this goes together just like that. We're going to let this glue set and then we'll put on some other pieces a little bit later on. So keep on watching. We're also in this video going to show you how we assemble the wings and the pylons and the ailerons, flaps that you see here and how we put the wings and all that stuff together. Same thing with those. Make sure you get rid of all your high spots. You might have to flatten out some pins to make sure they fit and get rid of those uh, things, the mold release marks, because they do affect everything. So here are the wings. You have to file up where the uh, vents go, those rounded corners in there to make this fit properly. Put something flat across there. That way you see where your ray spots are, shine the light through there. Uh, plenty of them. Just take your time with these wings. The pins, some of them will need to be filed down. You will have spots on the sides that need to be filed down. Like I said, take your time with this. It's not really that bad. It is an old kit. We have the gun. Glue that together. I did paint mine green, but you're probably really not going to even need to do that. Once you put the top on that, you're not even going to see it. But there is mine. So that's how it goes. It moves up and down. You're all going to fit this right in a little hole. And this is the other part of the fuselage there. Like I said, file the stuff down properly. That way you get a good fit ahead of time. So when I assemble this, I don't glue everything all at once. I glue certain parts. That way I can get a better fit on the seams like right here. I just kind of do one, hold it in place till that seam dries as even as possible and level with the other side that way it reduces the amount I have to do same with this and just squeeze that together it may look like I'm doing this all in one shot but I am not I am holding each piece together slowly letting each one dry then moving on to the next scene you can see that joint right here especially this one that's a hard one to get to stay and the other ones on the opposite side just glue it make sure it's flat it will certainly make doing the scenes a lot easier so here I am, got to fix them. I'm using a file and I'm going to use some putty filler to get inside of there. This is what I was talking about earlier when finishing this. Got these little struts for the radar. The radar, that's like one of the things I'm going to put in last because you're going to need to put some weight inside of where this goes. Uh, otherwise, this plane is, it's a tail sitter. 
I haven't even finished it yet and I can already tell you that so I've got areas where I'm filling in with other things so here's the engine you see you've got a little pin right there fits in this little hole in this bulkhead um, I even fill up some fuel tanks later on with some pellets yes pellets and I fill them with glue so we're going to put this in here it's got a little registration mark that you can see that I showed you earlier and it fits right in there you see how that goes just like that here put in your rear landing gear right here it fits in perfectly and there you go get the backside same thing here you need to check for raised spots run a flat edge along the whole thing and you will see where the raised ups are shine the light to it you might have to file a little bit down where the tail end meets and some of the other pieces there do that for both of these to make sure you get a good fit you don't have to worry about so much on the top there because that goes under the wing. Pretty easy. And you see how that shows through? That's one of the options here. You can cover that up or leave that exposed later on. And just get this. I did it the same way. I did each side slowly. That way it reduced the amount of sanding and filling that I had to do on this. And that really helped out a lot just by taking my time with this model. Is it a little bit of a nightmare? Not really. So here we're putting the wings on. Make sure you get a good fit and practice that ahead of time. See what needs to be sanded down on those before you fit all those together. And we have this right here, just filling in the seams. And these actually, the putty when I use that, I did have a video that I show how to putty all those seams. That's a separate video, you can watch that and find it. Same thing here with the stabilizer. Everything you just need to check that everything goes together flat, no raised spots, and you're going to have a lot better model and it comes out really well. So you can see here, even though you know I did the best I could, you do still have some sanding and filling to do because of the way it's designed. It's more shaped like it, I guess, inverted, it leaves a gap in the middle. So here I am, I'm using tube glue for this because it bonds great. You can squeeze that glue out onto the sides there and it's going to give you a nice bond almost melted you could say uh, we've got the nose cone not the nose cones but for the engines right here these go on you have a small one here and the other one is the full piece we'll show you that in just a second but you can see how that fits on there perfectly and this is the other one uh, we are going to put in that piece right there and then this round thing that holds on the prop you don't really have to do it this way for the other engine I didn't even put that in there because it was unnecessary because this one just has a bulkhead essentially and it's one piece be careful how you fit this in there it doesn't really like going on very well but you have to kind of play around with it I did use some tube glue had a little bit of trouble it goes on the edge you have to invert this as well and turn it upside down I don't think the pins match up Otherwise, your engine looks backwards with how it was designed. At least that's the way it looked for me. So, we have this. You're going to put in the rear stabilizer, just like this. Fits in perfectly, of course. You just do it right and let it glue, let it dry, and attach the other one just to hold it in place. I did that for a lot of the things in this. Um, you will put it in, and then you use the like other halves to hold everything in place before gluing them. I forgot to take out the holes for the pylons, so I'm doing this in reverse. I shouldn't say pylon, I should probably say fuel tanks. So once it was already done like this, you could see there was a slight discoloration earlier. That's where I knew how to drill the small holes. You get the holes, drill them out, put a couple of holes in there, then use a knife until they fit. So here's the way that I added. I put some BBs in this, and I filled it up with some white glue. There you go. Uh, that's the best way I know how. Make sure everything fits together kind of before you do that. I let that dry and as well the other half. Then you might even need to put in a little more in there. But once those are good, you can glue those together and we'll show you that in just a minute here. This is the other wing. You'll see where I'm putting this tube glue on just kind of right along the edge. And you see how I put some filler in there. Made it look pretty again. The model making madness. You know, we're good at that just goes together and you'll see that glue squeeze out and this just go easy with it this plane I'm happy with how it's turned out I know you will be when you see the rest of this and how it's done I didn't go for perfection I just want to make it look decent we have this right here 
another one of the little flaps I am going to do the flaps down since you can just fun little options with this plane it's model Mega Madness so here we go we're going to put this together right here remember subscribe comment and like to my videos don't forget to hit the button so you get notifications so you can watch me I don't mind donations either and as always until next time see ya